I keep my fingers crossed. Because every time it be something when I do live. But hey, y'all. Whistle. <laughs> How y'all doing today? Um, For the people who are in here so far, we I have three here. All about them from the same brand. But, I don't know. I kind of don't want to use this one yet. But it's deep condition time. What's up, Marquis? Hey, Maya. Finally, you popped in here to say whistle. You probably finna log right back off. Hey, Kay, Valerie, Ashley, um, Kamika. Yeah, said it right. Cassandra. Hey, girl. Dion. Ely. Queen. I'm trying to say how to say that. Queen, I'm just gonna call you Queen. Stephanie, I always be here. Yeah, you be here, but you all you don't never say the whole time, all you stop playing. Um, okay, it's moving kind of fast. Is that Nifa? Nifa. Hey, um, Vic, I see you. Oh, we got a dummy Demi, in here too. Hey, Tina. Wendy, okay. <laughs> Let me find out y'all came to show out today. Is that Shanika? Shaniqua? Marcy? Marcia? <laughs> All the shades of Mika. Okay. Two shades of Mika in here. Wait, so, so, um, and hey, everybody who just felt like they didn't want to say hi. And you just watch and you're just like, oh, you watch. Wait, up to you too. Um, I'm going to be choosing between two d conditioners and they're all from the main, well, I had three, you know what I'm saying, but I kind of don't want to use this one today, but I feel like the one I don't be want to use, they will be the one y'all select, so let's just go with all three, you know, how about it? What's up, Martin? I see you came in here, you made it, hey, Jay, <laughs> whistle, okay, the first one. If you want me to use this one, I feel like you need to wait because I feel like y'all gonna just start hollering out, yeah, that one, that one, see, that's the one. And <laughs> y'all don't, y'all ain't gonna know what I got next. So for this one, when I tell y'all, um, I want you to put, you can put carrot for this one because it's green tea and carrot. So this what it is. Oh, okay, Kamika, I see you. Um, for this one, this is the peach, black tea, and vitamin, um, fusion. It's an anti-shedding and intense volume therapy mask. Um, for this one, I want y'all to put peach. So, right now, hey, um, Martiba, and who else just came in here? Sean, I see you, Leah. Okay, for this one, put peach. If you want me to use this one, this is a main, a main choice mask. Wait, 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 hold your applause. I got one more. Now, for this one, I want you to put mango, because this one is the exotic Kool-Aid, and it has a fresh mango and passion fruit mask. So, I feel like, I don't know, I kind of feel like these going to be light. But anyway, carrot, peach, or mango. I don't know why I'm still holding carrot, though. So, yeah. Carrot, peach, or the mango. I didn't even show y'all the mango one. How disrespectful. We got all these damn fruits and vegetables in here. Look at us. All y'all vegans. We vegans now, y'all. Oh, look at this. <laughs> okay, so we got peach, 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 peach. And let me find out any one of y'all from Georgia. Because everybody is saying peach. Like, yo. <laughs> it's one person that said carry. Okay, we got, a, we got two mangoes. Three mangoes. Okay, it's peach. It's peach. All these Georgia peaches. Let me find out. Okay. So, y'all, I'm tired. I got like three hours of sleep um, last night. <laughs> no, from North Carolina. Let it be known. I see you, Miss Taylor. Miss Taylor. Oh, let's start. And this is going to be a first impression because I've never used this before. And if anybody used this one before, let me know. I see you still. Silk in the house. Um, yeah, let me know if you use this before because I don't really see a lot of people talking about it. I'm trying to see some. 
Okay. Hey, Nina. Hey, Kay. It's two Ks in here. I've never used it, but I'm interested. Okay, Bama, I see you. Sister State. Okay. So, how y'all Sunday going? Cause I can tell y'all why y'all while I get y'all replies in, cause y'all know it's always a delay for me. My Sunday, I just got home a couple of hours ago. I was in Dallas yesterday. I went down for um, one of my favorite podcasts ever, the Friend Zone podcast. They had a live show out there, and I drove down <gasps> solo, and I um, went to the show, and I got a room, and I got up. And checked out of the hotel and headed back here today because I knew I had to do my hair. Look at look at me being responsible. Like who's auntie am I? Maya, Jaden, Layla, uh, Laura, uh, Terrio, Maya, uh, Lee. I'm a lot of people auntie, okay? But I feel so responsible today for doing it because I'm tired. I could not sleep. I don't know it was something about the room that I was in. Is that crazy? I stayed at this hotel and I don't know. I don't know if I was just like really missing my space, but it was just something about the room. I was just like, I don't like this room. And it was nothing like, oh my God, the bed or this, this and that. It was just like, I would just rather be in my space. It was something about the room. Okay. I don't know what it was, but, um, I, I had a hard time going to sleep, and I was tired, so I usually just go to sleep, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I did have, like, a weird energy about the room. I couldn't, I barely could go to sleep, so I turned off the TV. It smells good. It looks like this. I turned off the TV and, um, couldn't go to sleep, so it was literally about 3 when I laid down, 3 a.m. Um, so I was like, okay. I'm going to sleep, I'm going to sleep. I could not. And I had my phone. Okay, let me, let me tell y'all. So I had my phone in my hand. Because er, earlier I did not want to talk about about this. Because I just didn't know how to feel. So I was just like, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. This feels good, y'all. Wait a minute. This got some slip. Y'all see how long. Hold on. Don't you hate when you say this got some slip. And then it'll start messing up. And then, you know, everybody, in the, everybody at home like. I don't know, but this it feels really good to the low po hair. You feel me? Um, I'm missing my little commentary. Okay, so back to the room. And the person who I was like when they asked me earlier, when I was like, oh, I just I don't know, I want to talk about it. If you watching, you get the story now because I didn't want to talk about it. But hey, we lie, baby. We lie, baby. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, yeah, so I, it was like 3 o'clock, and I was like, I could not go to sleep. I was like, I'm not going to pick up my phone and go to sleep and go to sleep. I could not go to sleep. So I turned the TV off, could not go to sleep. Picked up my phone, just started strolling on Twitter just for a little while. And I feel like I see something, like, in the flicker of my eye, but I was like, maybe somebody passed my room or something, because, like, in the room, I could still see, like, the outline of the door of the light from the hallway, so I was like, oh, you know what I'm saying, like, maybe I'm tripping, so I look back at my phone, struggling, and I see this phone again, and I'm like, okay, I'm tripping, so I, I'm still like this with the whole time, you know, the third time's a charm, so I ain't want to get caught off guard, so I'm just like, staring, like, at the light, because even the light switches kind of glow, so you can see, you know, where they are in the dark in the room, so I'm just looking, my phone in my hand, I'm, you know, I'm laying down, I'm just like, trying to see if it's going to flicker in front of my eyes now, because if it did it twice, so I'm like, it, it didn't do it again, so I'm like, weird, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to creep myself out by Googling anything about this damn hotel, because it is, it was an older hotel, but I, I feel like, um, it's been like newly, it's been like remodeled, um, so I was like, okay. I'm putting my phone out. I'm going to sleep. So I laid there and I just laid there and I could just hear everything. Like the air conditioning unit come on. Like I can hear like all this kind of stuff. 
I don't know. I don't like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know how y'all feel. I did. I was like, I'm not gonna Google it, Cassandra, because I was like, I didn't want to creep myself out. I, I was gonna Google it when I got back here, okay, <laughs> back home, so I could be like, okay, at least I'm out of there. You know what I'm saying? Because being that it was older, I don't know that you know it's been that building been there for a minute. You know, since I'm a Google, I'm a Google. I don't want to tell y'all the name of the hotel right now because I don't want y'all to get on here and tell me I'm Googling my own, my privacy, my own home, okay? But, um, yeah. So, I went to sleep. Mind you, I would lay down and I turned off everything around 3 o'clock. So, it had to be like 3.30, 3.45. Mind you, I be going to sleep quick. It takes me a good 10, 10, 15 minutes to go to sleep. If that, I can just go to sleep, especially when I'm tired and stuff like that. So, I go to sleep. I know I'm dragging out the story. You're going to get the story. <laughs> I went to sleep. And I'm like, I was scared that I was over going to oversleep. No, I didn't. Hold on, wait. Before I go to sleep, I got one. Before I go to sleep. <laughs> before I tell you before I, the part where I went to sleep, I got one more detail. So, I put my phone down on the beside the bed. And I at first, I had my phone plugged into, like, the lamp post. The, you know, the lamp there because it had, like, USBs. And then I was like, um. When I turned over, I was like, let me turn over on this side. Let me turn over on this side. And my phone had, I plugged it into the the, the alarm clock. Because when I turned the lights off, it would just go off. Like, it wouldn't charge my phone. So, I was like, I do not want my phone to be dead in the morning. And I'm stuck here because I got to go back home. I got to be at home. I got to get on the road. You know what I'm saying? So, I turned over and my phone said, Doo -doo. like, it had been unplugged or maybe like, plugged up again you know what i'm saying you know how your phone disconnect from a charger high sound and it makes that sound and i was like what the fuck you know what i'm saying like, what's really going on so um that happened and i'm just like i had took my watch my apple watch off too so i was like let me charge this so it can be ready in the morning and when that shit did that with my phone y'all i was just like i don't know what the hell going on because it couldn't it, i mean anybody could argue like it could be a shortage in your charger girl charger girl but like no. You know what I'm saying? Like, the charger didn't move. It was in the same position. So, why would it just, like, doo -doo, you know what I'm saying? So, anyways, I went to sleep. And it had to be, like, around 3.45, 3.30, Probably longer. I woke up at 6. I sleep good, y'all. I usually have, I usually sleep nothing less than 6 hours at a time. But I knew I wasn't going to be able to get another, like, 4 and a half because I had to get back on the road. So, I woke up around 6.30 after I had went to sleep, barely, almost before. So, I'm like, and when I, you know them, you know them dreams, I'm pretty sure, I don't know what they call it. You know them dreams where you feel like somebody holding you down and you can't wake up, but you up and you, forget, you feel like you know where you at and you know what's going on, but you just can't get up. I had one of them damn dreams in the hotel. And I was scared. I was so scared. I was terrified. <laughs> and I woke up and in the dream, I don't even want to get into the dream because it did not give me a good feeling. I really don't want to just like really live there. That's why I didn't want to talk about it earlier. But in the dream, I was just like trying to like scream but my voice wasn't coming out and then the stuff that i was screaming like screaming for my mom y'all know my mom's deceased i don't know it was really weird the dream was really weird but i couldn't get up i was just screaming i was trying to sing church hymns i was doing everything because they usually help when i have a dream like that like it usually helped but it didn't this time and i feel like okay i'm not getting to drink but anyways i was spooked out i was ready to go i got up right early i laid there for like an hour I was like, I'm probably not going to be able to go back to sleep. So I was like, let me go downstairs and get this free breakfast. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> this free breakfast. So I went downstairs and I ate. And then I was like, I had already packed up last night. Because I always do that. Um, I always pack the previous night so I won't have to be getting up and getting stuff. I just throw it in the bag and set out anything that I need for the road. Which, of course, was just like a change of clothes for so, you know, shower stuff. So I was out. I was out the damn hotel by 9, <laughs> probably before then, because I had to wait on valet to bring my car. But I was over it, y'all. I don't know. But I'm a Google. 
So that was my crazy experience in Dallas. And I was so ready to go, y'all. It takes about three plus, a little over three hours to get where the hotel was. I got home in like two hours. If I, I had to stop for gas, but if I didn't do that, which I stopped for gas and I went inside and paid and they didn't put my money on the wrong pump. You gonna give me my gas money. You don't go, you gonna give me my gas, but that happened. So I had to wait a little longer, but if I subtract that, I got home from like a three hour, three, maybe three fifteen hour trip. I got home in like two hours and 20 minutes. I was ready to go and I was flying. I probably shouldn't be, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know a police officer fight me, but, and now I'm here. I went, I was looking for some hair products. I went by a couple of salads, but I came back and washed my hair, y'all. So if I'm late, which I, I'm always late, but <laughs> I'm late and yeah, I had a very eventful day, y'all. Well, weekend. But the show was really fun and I'm glad that I went because I had breakdowns and I'm hyperventilated. I had tears in my eyes. I was going to cry. My anxiety was just like so high. I didn't know what the hell was going on. It was just like ridiculous. It was crazy. And I just was driving down doing my breathing exercises. It was, girl, it was an experience. But I'm here, <laughs> with up, <laughs> doing what I do best, deep condition. <laughs> so, yeah, let me read what y'all talking about. Yeah, that's what it's called. Do you ever get tired of being natural? No. I get tired of having to constantly have my hair on point. I, I get tired of constantly having to feel like my hair needs to be on point. Because if I be walking around with some crusty curls, I'm going to be like, oh, let me put it in a ponytail. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, ain't nothing like having no curls that look good and feel good. But, like... Yeah, sometimes it can be hard, especially now because I done stepped up, you know, in the gym and I really been getting it in, girl, shedding a couple of pounds. So, within that, like, yeah, sometimes it's just, like, irritating. It's like, oh, uh, that washing up was real good, but now it's over with, I need to refresh. But, you know, I like my hair. So, yeah. Jay want to know a hotel. Uh, I don't want to tell y'all. I want to look for myself. <laughs> oh, I look for myself first. And then, okay, let me tell you. I'm going I'm to look for myself first. And then I'm going to tweet the name on Twitter. How about that? I'm just going to tweet the name. I'm not going to put nothing. I'm just. I'm not going to put anything associated with what I'm telling y'all. But y'all going to know. But if y'all want to follow me on Twitter, then you ain't going to know. But, yeah. Because I don't want to. I, I want to look into it first. That's why I'm doing it like this. Okay? Right. So, I wanted to play a game because I'm trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> this story was creepy, and my experience yesterday with, you know, my high anxiety and stuff like that. I just want to chill, relax, and have fun. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to play a game, and I basically, I kind of want to, I mean, the, the game could be like a conversation starter. So I want to say a word, and I want y'all to tell me the first thing that's on the line. And then we're going to reverse it, and I want um, y'all to put like words, and then I'm going to pick which one, because it's going to be a lot of y'all. And I'm going to tell you what comes to mind, then maybe I can go into something from there, because if it's one thing I can do is talk. Okay. I bet. <laughs> okay. Halloween. That's the word. Y'all know what though. Okay, for anybody who just came in the room, I'm using the main choice, the peach black tea and vitamin fusion mask. And it's a big size. It's 12 ounces. You know, the other ones be eight. Um Terror. Maisha, why would you say terror? I thought I told this story. You must have just came in here. So I'm gonna go with terror. Terror. I hate that word. Terror. I'm gonna go with terror. And since I picked terror, I want you guys to tell me something that gives you that ter that terrorizes you. Go ahead. Like anything you're scared of, like anything. It might be dogs. It could be 
Halloween. It could be your bank account. You somebody stealing your bank account information. Like what's something that just like you just don't like? Okay, death. Girl, it's inevitable though. Spiders, bugs, roaches. I can't stand them. Ugh, snakes. <laughs> my gas and my electric bill. I know you right. <laughs> Especially in the wintertime. I don't know where you live. My hair feels good. Okay. I feel like it went on a little better when I first put it on. But maybe it's just this side of my head. I don't know. But it's still not bad. Um, spiders, dogs. I'm with you, Latrice. Like, we right here. Like, I don't know. I feel like they just be looking at me with them little eyes, and I just be looking at them, and I don't know what the hell they be thinking. So, I don't know. It's just weird. I just, it's weird. And then when you, like, touch them, you can feel like they real. I don't know. It's just, I don't, I find it a little, people look like, what? I just, I can't. The hair, the feel, the way they be looking. Some of them be cute, but... Hmm, it's a hard no for me, <laughs> I tried, I've tried. Now, I have had dogs that are friendly, but I ain't want to just be coochie coo rubbing on them and scratching them behind the damn ear. Like, no, just be friendly. Hey, now you just sit over there. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't jump on me. But, <laughs> what else? Get it. Oh, sis, my knees be hurting. Sis, getting old is like, I mean, we, we I'm, I'm just, I'm focused on trying to own it. You know what I'm saying? Own it. <laughs> Don't let the age eat you up, baby. Own your age, period. Social situations. I ain't going to play with you, Cassandra. I am not going to play with you, okay? <laughs> Social situations. I ain't going to even, Cassandra, do you want me to talk about it or no? Because I will. Just say the word. I feel like this stuff is going on so rich. And it's just the fact that it's uh, 12 ounces instead of 8. I feel like I got so much more to work with. Hey, girl. Who is that? Marquia from London. London. Okay, no. Okay, I ain't, you don't want me to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it. Cassandra. Oh, this is that little short piece I cut, y'all. I had so many freaking single strand knives in this area. That's why it looks so short. Because this used to be long. But, I'm going to get it together. I'm going to get it together. So, let's do our... Okay, now it's... Let's see. It's y'all turn. Well, I got to pick a word. And y'all got to... No, I did that already. Yeah, no, I gotta pick the word now. Y'all gotta tell me what comes to mind. Because y'all chose the word for me. Yeah. Uh, and you know what? I think I had the single strand knots here in this area because these are the strands that are usually under all of the hair. So it probably tangles quicker. That's my theory because I have a lot of single strand knots on the hair that's normally around the bottom or under the hair. You know what I'm saying? Especially, depending on what style you do, it's easy for it to get, like, tangled and, you know, live its best life up under there. So, yeah. Um, let me see. What's up? I see you, Brittany. Um, let's see. My word is going to be winter. Winter is the word. Now y'all gotta tell me the first thing that comes to mind. What do you what do you, what do you think of when you think about winter? Snow. Where y'all live it? Christmas. Cold. Facts be coat. I hate having to put on a coat, y'all, when it be cold. Like, who wanna do that? I just wanna go. Hell. School closing. I like the way you think. <laughs> Frostbite a <of> mother. <laughs> oh, I can't. Miami, period, poo, and that's on period. <laughs> Sweet me, you are so crazy. <laughs> Summer, Miami. Hold on, winter. 
Okay, I was thinking summer Miami, and you said I said winter, winter Miami. So you live in Miami? Hold on, wait. I just had a whole brain spark. Heater. Okay, so how do y'all feel about um wave blankets? Do anybody got a wave blanket? Cause I'm thinking about getting one. I was I was gonna get one. I was like this close, and then I canceled. Do y'all know what a wave blanket is? Yeah, it's a blanket that's heavy. It has like weight to it. It's supposed to like, yeah, it's yeah, it's basically a blanket that has a weight. They some of them come in fifteen pounds, some of them come in twenty pounds, and it's just like it has a certain weight to it. So when you put it on, it's supposed to kind of feel like you're being coddled, sort of kind of like. You know, like, it's like a, am I describing it right? You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be, like, snug and make you feel like, you know, the cheapest. You know what? And they ain't cheap at all. The cheapest I've seen, like, for, is, like, $50, and it don't even come with the little cover. You got to buy the, the own little cover to put it on there. I thought that was an anxiety blanket. I mean, it could be. Maybe I need to get two, sis. Just say the word. Just say the word. Can somebody send me a uh, wave blanket for Christmas? My PO box in the bio. I mean, in the uh, description box. <laughs> yeah, it's supposed to be like swaddling. I want one so bad. I'm going to get one. If I have to buy it for myself. I have to force myself to. Okay, so it's y'all turn because I'm gonna get my way please. Period. Um, what kind? Okay, it's like a heavy quilt basically, but it's heavier than that little quilt that your grandma had on her bed, the blue one, because I know they always be that same little color. <laughs> they ain't cheap though. You mean a wave blanket? Yeah, a wave blanket. That's what I said, did it? Did it? Okay, so give me a rant. Y'all give me random uh, words. And I'm going to tell y'all the first thing that I think of when I choose words. Hey, girl. I see you. You just entered the chat. Hold on. I can't your name. What is your name? It's Dora. <laughs> I'll probably miss your name. Oh, yeah. um, I know you can buy it from Amazon. I'm not sure where else. I'm pretty sure you probably can stroll in Bed Bath & Beyond and maybe they got it. I don't know. Look online first before you go. I'm really loving the amount I have left with one section. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me show y'all. I got this much left. That's a lot. Look at the bottom. Come on, words. We gotta do a curl break when I get this little piece of hair saturated. Okay, I got um. Okay, let's go with travel. The first thing I think of when travel, y'all probably already know because y'all know me. I think of a beach. I think of a beach, y'all. Like, I think of me and somebody's daddy looking like, mmm. Somebody's son going like, mmm. But of course, you don't be on my solo sheet. But, yeah, I really want to go. I really want to go on a, like, pre- New Year's pre-Christmas trip because first of all it'd be too expensive on the actual holiday and second of all I just like to get away from cold weather like I just can't do cold I don't know how y'all live in these states and be snowing 
and y'all be having a cloud of snow just to bag your car up. Like, who wants to live like that? Like, I just cannot. The cold does something different to me. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that it does to other people. Like, I'm always cold, you know me. I'm always taking the jacket with me everywhere. Even if it's 100 degrees outside, I was going inside, I need a jacket because I don't deal with the change very good. Okay? I just... Who would stay in Colorado when they be getting snow that I can't even twerk in? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, who do that? I just... I don't know. But... Maybe it's the southern southern bell in me. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, it's a, my turn to choose a word. Um. No, hold on, wait. Did I just choose a word? No, y'all just did. Okay, men. The word is men. M E E. I know my accent probably sounded a little funny, so I gotta spell it. Men. Men. <laughs> I'm trying to see it different ways and shit. Like, girl. First thing y'all think of when I see it. Did you say little fizz? Somebody block her. No, I'm too. <laughs> Muscles. My hubby. You better. Confused. And is. They is. Get on my nerve. They do, they do get on my nerve. But they just so godly. <laughs> they just be. Trash. Tell me how you really feel this. This is trash. <laughs> My uncle. Your uncle was hold on, your uncle single? <laughs> fragile. Yeah, they do that. For a fragile ego. That too, Cassandra. Good credit. Hold on. Who? Point him out, too. What he at? What he at, my girl? Good credit. Okay, so elderly parents I, okay if i'm not seeing your comments y'all i just want to put a disclaimer in here because some people be thinking i'll be ignoring them sometimes it doesn't show me all the content and then i don't be knowing who said what until somebody else point out that in the comments somebody said something i don't know i'm not ignoring you if i'm not seeing your comments sometimes you do too busy get the up okay um men are so sensitive and they talk about us they are really sensitive they can't handle the stuff that we be dishing out. They say, but the what they say women can't. Like, oh, you can't take it, but you can't though. You know what I'm saying? Like, a uh, honest female is automatically gonna be problematic anyways. But that's y'all don't want to get me started today, cause it's like, why you? I, just like men being, I feel like honesty. Honesty should make the world go round. Everybody should be. And you know what? Uh. Nay, girl, I don't believe in double standards. Like, what you hold me to, I hold you to, period. That's just how it is. That's just that on that. Um, me and gossip as much as we do. Yeah, I just, I ain't never been the type of person to tell everybody all my business. Which y'all know about me on, on, online, like, it definitely ain't all my business. But, you know, y'all might know a little. You just you definitely don't know the gist, but like men be telling everything to their partners, be more loyal to them than to who the girl be holding be holding people down. But hold on, we gotta switch subjects because I'm gonna get to preaching, <laughs> and I don't want y'all husband, boyfriend, whoever beside y'all be like, oh, don't listen to that pretty witty girl because she don't be talking right. Like I don't wanna get nobody in trouble because I'm gonna start preaching. Somebody better talk to him before I do, because I'm a hurt his feelings. <laughs> Where I get that from, y'all? <laughs> hey, girl. Is that Zana Marie? CB? What's up? And I, just like that, y'all, I'm done. Ooh. Ooh. I'm going to show y'all how much I got left, too, because I got a lot left. I hope it's good. What a waste if it ain't good and it's all this product. Okay, we're going to do one more round of this. Cause, okay, okay, y'all go. Put a random word in the comments. And I'm going to select one. And we're going to feed off of that. Oh, it, it, my hair does feel good. 
giving y'all another review. The sun is really hating on you, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who says this? I'm trying to figure out what I want to feed off of because all these are so good. Okay, let's go. On. Let's go with budgeting. Let's go with budgeting because two people done put it. So let's go with budgeting. What's the first thing that comes to mind when I, when I think of budgeting? I think of, I automatically think about saving up to go somewhere. <laughs> Budgeting, I feel like I'm starving. I want what I want. Now, that just be me, though, because I'm so used to spoiling myself. Peep this. I used to be so good at budgeting, but the older I get and the more I feel like, I ain't going to say the more I feel like I want, but the more I feel like it's okay to treat myself. When I, back, you know, a couple years ago, I used to be like, okay, say this, you know, say that. But now I'm like, girl, it's cool to budget. It's cool to, like, be a little frugal sometimes. But treat yourself, especially if you, don't wait on nobody else to treat you. Like, treat yourself. Buy your jeans from Fashion Nova. Buy a cup of jeans. You know what I'm saying? Take yourself out to eat. Order DoorDash, you know what I'm saying? Order your food if you don't feel like going somewhere. Just sometimes it's okay to treat yourself. You know what I'm saying? Because budgeting is cool, though. You do need to do that. But, um, yeah, treat yourself. So what do y'all think about when you think of budgeting? Can you give me some tips? Do you need tips? Do we need to help each other on this? Like, wait. Working to live, working to live instead of living to work. Say it again for me. Who said that? Maisha, tell them again, girl. For real. Not spending, spending for emergency, saving for emergency and trip. I take twenty five dollars out of my check and stack it around the house, girl. Nah, cause I feel like if I get robbed. Or somebody stumble upon my hiding spot. Because I be hiding stuff from myself. Like, I will hide something from myself and swear up and down that maintenance came over here and stole it from me. And then when I find it, I'm like, oh. <laughs> so, I find that around the house sometimes, I be forgetting. Girl, I be forgetting sometimes. But, um. Oh, hold on. We got a little paragraph by uh, Sapphire. Budgeting to me is like sacrificing. What is it? Hold on, wait. What is this? My camera ain't still all day. I saw. I, I saw. I'm choosing. You do have to put yourself on the budget. You do have to sacrifice. But treat yourself, though. I mean, sometimes you got to. Because it just, it just feel like you just. I don't know. Okay, let me ask y'all this, because I've been wondering, and I've been asking people this question, and I just want to get a couple of people's opinion on this. How do y'all feel about having to work 30 and 40 years just to retire and, like, live, just to have money to, like, live on? Like, how do y'all feel about that? I hate everything about it. Like, Cause I'm gonna wait for y'all responses, and then I'm then I'm gonna let y'all know how I feel about it. I think it's something is, hmm. yes. Like I feel like we weren't put here to have to work for thirty and forty years, five days a week, just to retire a couple years before we expire. You know what I'm saying? Like who came up with that? 
I feel like that's just that's ghetto. Like who wanna work and then for the same place? I don't even wanna be in the same city for twenty and thirty years. Why would I wanna work for the same place that long? Girl, I don't know. That's just retirement is so ghetto. We should be it should be our birthright to goddamn have a place to live and have money to spend. Instead of working for somewhere that long, oh, like who wanna do that? What if you're working for a company that doesn't even survive 30 or 40 years and you to work for them all this time? Like who <sighs> ghetto? And I don't want no part. <laughs> I just I don't I, I feel like I just don't want to. I'm, I, the older I get, the more I feel like I'm more free and just wanting to just like go and like not be so stationary, especially to stuff something like work. Ugh. I have more than seven years before I retire. In seven years, have seven years more. Okay, that's cool. Like you at the end, but a lot of us we at the beginning or had was working for people and we had to switch jobs or you know what I'm saying. It just didn't stack up like that. You know what I'm saying? Or have other things. I don't know. You at the end since hanging there seven years. But let's talk about these taxes they be taking out my check and why do I get punished for not having children? Like, <laughs> tax. Like, can we talk about that? Can we talk about how we paying for all this stuff that's coming out of my check and it might not even be around when I need it? Give me my money? Like, for real. <sighs> I could go on and on. Hold on, what should I say? <clears throat> Some people are well paid for retirement and working to support their grandkids. And I, yeah, I see that. Or people just don't be wanting to leave. I'm like, can you transfer that time over to me? Because I can show you how to live. You know what I'm saying? Like, they just do not be wanting to leave. Or <clears throat> they have children. Their children are still at home with their kids in the house. And they just work in because they need ghetto okay it's <laughs> not for me <laughs> when i say ghetto i don't literally mean ghetto y'all because some somebody didn't get the reference one time and they was like how is that ghetto it's just like saying i don't want to do it that's the new way of saying i, I ain't doing it okay um <laughs> taxes do get on my nerves are they paying for the insurance you got mine see if the president don't have to pay, why should we? If the president don't have, shouldn't have to put his tax return, shouldn't have to show that, why should we? Why? I don't know. Live it up now. See, I'm kind of in between, Maisha. I'm kind of in between where, okay, I want to have money when I get older. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want to have money to fall back on. But I also don't want to work myself to death and don't have the strength the power the body you know what i'm saying the health to enjoy my life <clears throat> for the rest when i retire <clears throat> sorry y'all when i retire like if i'm working so hard now which is cool and you saving and you doing all of these you're not living and that's what just i don't know I'm gonna set fire with the facts. She still travels. Almost took me out the game. I feel you, girl. What did they say? Y'all like, yes, nay, yes. I'm like, hold on, wait, what's going on? Am I missing something? Because I don't see nothing from there. What's the plan? Let us know. We waiting. Because this stuff like this is like, <clears throat> I don't want to miss out on my years because I've been working. And now I don't have the strength. My knees hurt. I'm walking with a cane before I enjoy my life. Like, no. Somebody's son is going to take care of me. We're going to, take, we're going to live a very happy life. <laughs> okay. And I feel sorry for some people because they have to go back to work. And to me, they don't have a plan, you know. You know what I mean? Hey, 
your skills against the plan. I started my job like I graduated. I started saving for a one K plan. Yeah, I mean certain jobs <clears throat> don't offer that. My job does. <clears throat> and I'm fortunate for that, but some jobs don't offer that. You know what I'm saying? And then you working for these companies for all this time and they don't offer those kind of benefits. Enjoy the save and leave. I don't know. I'm kind of been. I'm kind of been in a in the moment type of person, anyways, because it's like I want to feel good in the moment. I don't want to be stressed and overworking, doing twelve hours a day and sleeping and going to work and not living my life. Like no, ghetto. I don't want to do it. Talk to a financial advisor. I got a retirement plan outside of the month. Okay, sis. The tea has been spilled. This is good. I'm going to have to go back and read some of these comments, especially the ones that are not showing up, which is really irritating. I have close to a million dollars already. So, you want a new friend, um, niece, cousin, or cuz? We got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> okay y'all so sapphire is my new cousin so when y'all see her let them know okay <laughs> now nah, shun fall back she ain't kidding you this my first cousin okay Come on, I was a little fan. Mm -mm, wrong way. Choose somebody else. All the other people. Mm -mm, can't have her. Mm -mm. My hair feels so good, y'all. Okay, so that was a really good discussion. I hope y'all liked that. Because I don't know, we might have to do it more often. Or at least like once a month. Because it kind of like opens conversations and doors that I feel like a lot of people don't talk about or it's not easy to talk about or somebody might not just have the immediate question but we can lead to the conversation so I hope you guys enjoy that kind of segment I don't know we should call it something y'all want to call it something so y'all can already know what it's time what, what did I even say earlier um who you knows y'all name This all the hair I shed it, which is really good for a new to do. But, so we're going to fall. I don't know how many of y'all in here. But since y'all in here, let me just go ahead and let y'all know what's key. We have a book club. And we're going to be discussing the book called The Chain by Adrienne McKinney. I think that's what it is. So this is the next segment. It go down every live. Okay, every other week, no, not every other week, every second and last Sunday of the month. Okay, it goes down. So, join the book club. Any of my videos, you can look at the description box in my latest videos, and it will be there. So, yeah, we're going to be talking about, um, okay, big, I see you. We're going to be talking about the chain and book club members. Go ahead and start it off. Like, what's your biggest thing that you just need to get off your chest? I'm mad at the, the way the book ended. Okay, for anybody who's not in the book club, let me just go ahead and give a brief description of the book. There is a chain, right? Kind of like, you know how the chain letters in school and stuff were? It's sort of like that, but serious. So... Somebody's child is kidnapped. Say, for instance, I don't even want to put that on y'all, but let me, let me just come up with a name. Let's just say Sarah. Sarah got a little girl. Sarah's little girl was kidnapped. And the only way that they're going to let Sarah's little girl go is if Sarah go kidnap a child herself to replace her child in the chain. And then after the person, let's see, Sarah kidnapped. Brittany, sorry, Brittany is still in the chat. Sorry, hope you got kids. But if, yeah, Sarah has to go kidnap Brittany's child in order for 
somebody else trying to let go. It's a chain. It's literally a chain. But just because you kidnap somebody's child, hold on, wait, just because, and then it's money involved too. So it's like you got to pay a ransom. Again, that's the first part. And then you got to go kidnap somebody's child. Or the, and then after that person kidnaps somebody's child, then they'll let your child go. So it's like three people have to be involved here. You know what I mean? So yeah. But it's just like keep going and going and going. So that's the gist of the book. The ending made me so mad because I'm like, wait, this don't even belong. I feel like they should have just left it at when, you know, they were at finally at her house, at Ginger's house. They should have just left it there. Had that, I feel like that would have been a more reasonable ending. But then they try to blame them for kidnapping. and It took me fast. It just took me so fast. It was rushed. Um... Pregnancy talk, girl. What? Um, I don't know. I got this recommendation from somebody. I'm trying to get out this son. So disrespectful. Okay, I'm looking at this. If there's anybody who want to check this under 30, I ain't under 36, but I I need to check. But um, <laughs> drop your email. Oh no, maybe somebody. Y'all can come what's your Instagram or something? Uh it was too clean. Yeah, I feel like they tried to they try to put a bow on it and wrap it up real clean and cute at the end. That's not what it needed to do. That's not what it needed to do. That's my bad. she pregnant or not and why for the love of anything why was she messing with her ex-husband's brother nobody found that weird that and nobody found it weird that when her ex-husband marty would come in with his new girlfriend young girlfriends that she would he would kiss her on the cheek and stuff is that how Caucasian people act? Because I don't know. I just found that really weird how he was calling her sweetheart. Are oh, you okay? I'm rubbing the head. I'm like, what is going on? And then you sleeping with his brother. And that part was so messy. I was like, what's really going on? I don't know. It's really weird. And call her baby. Yeah, it was like weird. I wish you would bring this to your ex wife house and you over here coddling and hugging like what's really girl it was a mess another part extremely weird it was another part that kind of made me go like hmm the part where they had to shoot the police officer and the police officer died so you mean to tell me the police couldn't solve this murder and they solved everything else like they really killed the police officer and they got away with it and they just like cruising around town like they did it. Police officers always seem to pin something, a murder on somebody. Like they, you know, that part was like, hmm. Because if they would have been like this, they would have definitely found me. I don't know. It was really weird. I don't know. Gotta go. Okay, thanks for tuning in. I feel like that part could have been left out. Yeah, because it was like, I feel like they just tried to heighten the, maybe the act like somebody was going to catch them. Because it was like, hey, Kayla. It was just like, what is really going on? And the part where she let Kylie play with the girl they kidnapped without the ski mask on, it was like, Girl, hey Precious, welcome, you late. Everybody tell Precious she late, she late. <laughs> Girl, I was, but let's see, I was like, why is you letting this, why would you even let her go watch her? Why would you bring your daughter who just been scarred from being kidnapped? Why would you even let her go and let her be a part of the other girl's experience? Cause I don't know.
I thought it was stupid that a lot of Kelly would do. Yeah, like for real. I just felt like she was dumb anyway for trying to break out. I was like, girl, sit tight. Like, why are you trying to break out? She knocked the man upside the head and stuff. Yeah, you gonna get slapped. You are resisting. <laughs> like, how can you not expect that? And why was the man so friendly with her? Why was I know he was like a school teacher and stuff, but Okay, why do you feel like why do y'all feel like the all the children say the mothers that kidnap them are the men? Why do y'all feel like I feel like, me personally, I feel like because they, they're more on edge because it's their child who's been, like, kidnapped. I feel like the moms are just like, let's do it. Let me kidnap somebody's child. Like, it got to go down. Leave her alone. Like, my baby going to be home soon when it's their mama kidnap somebody else. So, they are the most desperate, yes. What book are we reading next? Um, we have a suggestion box that's open on uh, Goodreads in the book club group. So you can go on there and suggest a book. I'm going to try to at least have a book chosen by Wednesday because I have to give people time to watch this back and respond because some people don't want to respond. So we're going to get that off. I'm going to choose. I need y'all to go to the uh, book club. The... You know what I'm talking about. The general topics. Drop a book in there. Because I need stuff to work with. It's only so much my head can do. I need suggestions. Okay. But. um, I don't know. I was really. A part. A twist in the book that I really was like. Scratching my head. Like what the hell is going on. When they abruptly like. Switch stories. They switch from. The main story. To like. They went back to talking about like people who we didn't know which later on we found out how it connected but at first I was like wait why is this man going in here cutting these women fingers off and taking the kids like, I, who are these and how do they relate to the story I was so confused because I feel like it wasn't like okay the background on blah blah blah, blah. it was just like the wrong there it was like a switch and I couldn't really get into the story and I was going like okay let me go back like what you know what I'm saying like that part was like I figured out it was the children when they were like, she was doing the chain note thing. She would make her brother, do, make people, girls at school do this. And if she wanted a dog, and she didn't kill the girl dog. Well, rabbit. It was a rabbit. She didn't kill. I don't know. It was so. I knew that there was them then. But. And then they pushed their little brother off the ship. Well, it wasn't their real little brother. It was like their little brother in law. I guess she would call their brother in law. Evil. Um, and they shot the daddy in the mouth. In the mouth. The kids are dead. Um, what else? It was something I had to say. Oh, how do y'all, did y'all know that the dad's girlfriend was actually the girl? Cause I feel like I picked it up. I don't know. I just had a weird suspicion. Like that's gonna be tough. Even before they started saying that she would talk to some of the people that was like associated with the chain. Like I knew that. I don't know. It was just something funny about this ginger girl and the fact that oh yeah, she worked for the FBI and stuff like that. It was just like yep, that's her. And she was like, you know, I, I know people. I can go do therapy. She knew who the mama was all along. She just watching her and her daughter suffer and her daughter need therapy. <sighs> that woman was sick. I figured out once they started talking about her being the FBI again, I feel like that's when it kind of came through. I just look at <laughs> And she asked how Kylie was doing. Yeah, it was just like, why? First of all, can we address the why his her husband was so interested in these young girls that's so close to his daughter's age? It's like really young girls. A problem there too. I 
I'm surprised that he was able to like Mark. I mean, he was a good looking man. I feel like they just fed off of the fact that he was attractive because they really made, they really stressed the fact that his brother was ugly and Marty was a good looking brother and he was a successful brother. And she let up there with the ugly brother. Like, can we talk to him? Somebody please talk to him before I do. Like, why are you let up here with this man? He was addicted to drugs and she know that and he's kind of got like military background well I don't know who else is military but be careful with him because sometimes you know you just never know what you're gonna get um who fresh is that I thought it was it was to get back in yeah well the girl just like to get around <laughs> she just likes to do what she do and her brother was just like I don't want no parts of it Girl, how she gonna be laid up with the ugly brother? Like, what are you doing? I really wanted to see her get with that police officer, though, the one who she lied to and she was trying to flirt, well, fake flirt with. I would, I wanted her to get with him. Somebody said she was a cool kid, he was a younger guy. I don't know. And it was crazy because she hid the little girl so close to home. That kind of scared me because I thought that they were gonna get caught. I really did. She played that off good though. <laughs> Do y'all think that she bought Kylie those shoes? when they went downtown y'all think she bought those shoes just to get the tracking device off or do you think that they were just like a coincidence i feel like it was crazy when the mom when they finally kind of followed the signal to her house to ginger's new house and she saw her daughter and you on a mission to sneak you on a mission to sneak in you know what i'm saying find out what's going on and you see your daughter you automatically start running to her like don't you want to be hiding trying to figure out what's going on you just gonna start running to her you running right into trouble like the logic behind that dumb like i didn't understand that so I, judging by what y'all say, y'all think it was a coincidence that she got out some shoes real quick. And when you notice how the sister was, was like all the other women in the book. That's true. Hmm. I feel like um, Ginger already knew the pro protocol anyways when it comes to like being with people kids and you know because people think that kids have the GPS tracker, tra tracker in their shoes. Who missed my vlog? Girl, I wish I was living something that was interesting girl because right now Unless y'all want to see me vlog and be like, hey y'all, I just woke up, I'm tired, I'm about to go to the gym, alright y'all, time to do my hair, alright y'all, got to fold clothes. <laughs> um, maybe y'all post one, but it's definitely not going to be on a regular basis like it is, because it's exhausting and I, I need to take care of my mental health, because that, that was a lot. Also, I feel like I'm in a different part of my life now as well. So, and I'm in general a more private person. I, I'm always been private, but I feel like I'm a little bit more private than I was in. I don't know. Maybe I do like a little bit. If you see the girl, I need that activity first. I probably should have vlogged when I went to Dallas yesterday. That would have been fun. Well, well, I was by myself, so it really wasn't anything like. But anyways, um. Is there any, hold on, wait, how do y'all feel about uh, Kylie taking the first shot? Um, 
all this stuff. I feel like they big up, they bigged up Kylie's character in the end. Like, oh, she went back and watched all these handcuff classes on YouTube. And she learned learn how to do this. And she learned how to fly. You know, like, it just seemed like she was depressed all the time and was in her room. Like, what's really going on? Like, did y'all just big up her to be the hero in that situation? And why was the her dad, Ginger's dad, like, talking about, oh, he listening to mom would take him out and like what was that about what was that little bit about it was just so weird some stuff was just weird I'm, I don't know maybe I'll consider reading something else by this author it wasn't horrible but I hope the ending don't be nothing like because baby the way that this ended I was just like the sponge bob me I was just like what? <laughs> what's going on so lost I was surprised that Pete remembered the other guy was still alive. That's what I'm saying. It's like some certain stuff, it was just like, hmm. I know it's a book and you can just like, because it's fiction, you can just like make it up. But a lot of that stuff didn't even sound believable, to be honest. Girl, I don't know about a part two, because I'm all goddamn chained out. <laughs> Break every chain since we're done, okay? <laughs> no part two. Break every chain. But if y'all are still in here and you're not a part of the book club, definitely be a part of the conversation on the next live. Like, I want y'all to be able to come and be in here from the beginning, from when we choose an island of conditions to, to the book club and the discussion, like to be a part of it. Um, if you don't have time to read, that's fine. Since they have audiobooks, we have a ways to listen to books for free there's an app for that it's called uh what's libby the libby app where you can just get your library card which is free you can listen for free you can follow the conversation um if you are listening to an audiobook which is the majority of the ones i listen to it takes on average well me on average two or three days to finish the book that's why I be trying to start late, cause I don't wanna. I wanna have it fresh in my mind when I do it. But I be feeling like, why everybody so quiet? Why y'all ain't talking? <laughs> cause are y'all trying to wait until like the second week? Because I, it's every two weeks, and you know sometimes we have three weeks depending on how many Sundays are in the month. But um, I just be trying to have it fresh, cause I'm the one, you know, of course I'm the one sitting here talking, and I gotta like, lock. ooh, girl, I gotta moderate everything. So yeah. Did you finish the book, Precious, or at all? No one went to jail. That's crazy. I guess there would be a there would be no book discussion on the next. Yeah, there will. What are you talking about? It's it's air every live we're gonna be discussing a book. And even though I'm, I'm pretty sure some of y'all just sitting here watching, even if because y'all didn't even read the book, but the book be good so far. We had a couple bumpy rolls, but you know, we got through it. I'm about to re wet my hair, and y'all already know when I turn the live off, I do sit under a hooded dryer with this plastic bag on my head for about 20 minutes on, you know, average is 20 minutes. And then I rinse and I'm gone by my business. I, I'm going to come back here to update you guys on how I like this deep conditioner. How how it is once I um, deep condition it and rinse it out. Um, Like the last one. I really like the last live I did. I used that new deep conditioner. Bruh. If I use that again to give me the same feeling. I'm definitely about to order me some for Black Friday. Another item added to the list. I'm just a deep conditioning queen. <laughs> I am mean, just like you know you got you gotta do the edges over this regardless. Anybody got any more hair questions before um all of this? Cause you know I dip out on the kid real quick. We did really good and I've been in here for a really long time. Shout out to y'all for taking y'all Sunday to spend it with me just a couple minutes. Like I truly appreciate you. For real. 
You know what? Oh, the guy they killed. What was his name? The guy they killed. I was so mad they killed him. Because he knew he was on to something. And when he was talking about those 77 chapters, I was just like, I like this part. Like, he was like, 77 is like the number of completion. That's the way he put it. Eric, that was his name. Uh, 77 being the number of completion and stuff like that. And I was like, what a book. 77, what's up? You know what I'm saying? Get at your girl. I know y'all was thinking about the kids too. Like, ready, ready, 77, yeah. Y'all probably wouldn't do it. I was excited about that part. I was like, yeah. <laughs> but, um, anybody got any hair questions? Feel free to ask them right now. In the codes he was talking about, yeah. I I really thought I was like, man, he could be a part of the chain. Like I just knew they was gonna get uh Rachel for being stupid. But he was actually out there trying to solve it. And his little device that he made actually brought her to actually worked, which was great. I just wish he would have got around to see this stuff. I would still love to read the book. What's the name of it? It's called The Chain by Adrian McKinty. The next book we're going to be reading is going to be, um, I'm going to announce it really soon, at least by Wednesday. So, and please, if y'all are part of the book club, I think I'm seeing the poll for you guys to vote on the two books for the month of November. It's all in November, but I always, I think I'll be sending it to y'all inbox. I'm not sure how it comes to y'all, but y'all be getting it. I don't know how it comes. But yeah, I don't see no more hair questions. Oh, sometimes my hair gets set into the back. So I'm not putting oil on and just my scalp. I need some help in the hair street. What's the issue? You need to hold on. Sometimes my hair is set in the back. What do you mean set? Like dry? Oh. I have a problem. Well, I just was telling y'all the the base, like this part where well, when I wear my hair down, that's under the bottom, those parts, it's the, it curls the tightest, it dries out the quickest, and it has the most single strain knots. See? I don't know. I can't, I don't, I can't give you the advice today. Like, I don't, I don't know. See? But, yeah, the uh, How to Join the Book Club is usually always in the description box. Um, if, even if you don't look at this video, go to the last upload that's like not as condition related and you can always find that information in um, the description box. It's, it's on goodreads.com. You search for uh, the witty book club and then, or you can even just search for join. You have to make a goodreads profile, goodreads.com. You can even just find me, freely 77 on there. And you can go to my page and maybe scroll down to the bottom and you can find the book club or you can just join the book club, join anybody else to see in the book. I don't know. I don't know how that works because I'm probably looking at it from a different screen because I'm like the moderator and the creator of it. So, yeah. Really easy. Um, if you need any information about how to um, get some free books. We even have a store here called Half Price Books where you can get the books half price. If you want the like physical copy, um, I don't know if you got that. I don't know if y'all got that when you leave, but that's a bonus. But it's also the Libby app, L I D B Y. Download it. You have to have a library card. Put your library card number in there. You have access to the text version of it, which if you have like a Kindle, or you can just listen to the audio version. Like right? some of them only have audio, um, some of them only have the text version, like you to read it. And, um, some of them have both. So, yeah. Read on your own, too, Steve. You don't just have to read with the book club. But, yeah. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. I love hair price books. Yes, they be having it. Oh, Dallas got it, too. 
So yeah, um, without further ado, hey Michelle, girl, you came in at the end, but what's up to you? What's up? You in here? I know I just sprayed this on my head so many times. <laughs> Be like that sometimes. But thank y'all so much for tuning in. I will see you guys um later on this week and Sunday for another DP dish. Like what you thought. <laughs> and as always, tell your fine daddy.